No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. That is Title IX. 37 words passed by Congress on June 23rd, 1972, met of course with resistance, but also opportunity for girls to play the games they love at levels they never imagined. Amy Eshelman was just 10 years old when Title IX was passed, and it didn't take long to realize it was a game changer. I think in elementary school, there was a boys team and there was not a girls team. Chicago's first lady was the only freshman on the 1977 Sterling High team dubbed the Golden Girls, who put together a perfect season on their way to becoming the first girls state champions in the state of Illinois. It was 45 years ago this April, and I remember it like it was yesterday. It felt like our whole town came down state to support us. I still get goosebumps talking about it, and our team gets together and stays in touch. We all felt that it gave us these life skills that we would never have gotten if we hadn't gone through that experience. Melissa Isaacson feels that too, recalling the moments Title IX provided her. I can't really describe the power that you have as a, as a kid to put on a uniform, to play in the gym, to have your parents be able to come watch you. The journalism professor at Northwestern documented her history in the book titled State that tells the transformational story of her hoops career at Niles West High School. While we weren't, we couldn't recite the Title IX law, we all could tell you the moment when we found out we had a state championship and the chills that all of us had collectively to flash forward four years later in 1979 have literally standing room only crowds in that same gym where we weren't allowed four years earlier is indescribable and it's something that will forever be inside of me. The uniforms of course don't fit anymore and the pictures have gathered dust, but the opportunity truly changed the course of these women's lives. It made me feel different about myself. It made me see how important it is to be part of a team. I credit basketball and, and sports, organized sports and team sports for giving that to me and seeing a future um, maybe beyond my small little town. The idea that I could one day walk through NFL locker rooms and NBA locker rooms would not in a million years have occurred to me if I hadn't gained that confidence and that um, self-image, and not just winning the state championship, but being allowed to play for it. It's clear the immediate impact Title IX had on women's sports, but this important groundbreaking legislation also addresses other areas of concern, including the discrimination of LGBTQ students, sexual harassment and violence, and the unfair treatment of pregnant and parenting students. And there is still more work to be done. We will continue to cover the 50th anniversary of Title IX in the coming months. Dion Miller, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.